speaker i finish by saying senator enok <laughs> uh, uh thank you the speaker Mr. Speaker, um, there is a reason why my colleagues call me bishop, others call me pastor. Mr. Speaker, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 19, from verse 18 to 19, it says that the judges shall inquire diligently, and if the witness is a false witness and has accused his brother falsely then you the judges shall do to him as he had meant to do to his brother so you shall purge the evil from your midst mr speaker i did not know that i would be a senator in kenya at such a time as this being called upon to judge between the National Assembly and the Deputy President of the Republic of, of Kenya through a motion brought here by one Honorable Mwengi Mutuse. But Mr. Speaker, here we are, and where duty calls, I will answer the call with courage and guided by a deep desire for that which is good for our nation. The speaker, I would have expected that the crumbling relationships within the Kenya Kwanzaa administration would perhaps have been handled within their PG or their neck and resolved there. But because they have chosen this path, Mr. Speaker, they have made their bed, they must lie on it. The speaker, the mover of the impeachment motion must have a very dim view of the Senate of the Republic of Kenya. He comes to us with innuendos, falsehoods, sensational statements, and dropping of numbers without a shred of evidence. The speaker, he begins his own illustration by saying sometimes in 2023 he goes on the speaker to speak about at another forum in September 2024 Mr. Speaker we are debating an impeachment motion of the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya the list that these judges would have expected the least that this country would have expected is due diligence on the mover of the motion. Getting every event and every date right, in fact, down, going down to the minute to the second. This is a serious issue, Mr. Speaker. But Mr. Speaker, because of time, I will say two things. One, let it be known to this house and to this country that those of us who subscribe to the ideals of the Azimio One Kenya Alliance are totally and grossly opposed to the idea of a government of shareholding. We don't subscribe to that idea. We believe in an all-inclusive government where every person and every region have their space in this country. But Mr. Speaker, when that matter was presented to us as an accusation, as a ground for impeachment of the Deputy President, during cross-examination and going through the evidence table before the Senate, it is clear to this House, it is clear to this country, that the idea of a government of shareholders is a foundational policy of the Kenya Kwanzaa administration. The signature for that policy is appended by none other 
and the party leader of that coalition, the President of the Republic of Kenya, the Speaker of the National Assembly, the Chief Cabinet, Cabinet uh, Secretary, and Mr. Speaker. I would dare say, don't drag the Speaker of the Senate to this because he's not part of this. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, you cannot punish the Deputy President, the principal assistant to the President for undertaking the role of being the assistant to the president. He is just expounding on a policy that his boss assigned and made public. The speaker, oh my goodness. The speaker, lastly, if you allow me, Senator Metho.